What's going on guys, Random Comic here. So I'm very excited to finally bring you guys the full retail version of Battlefield 3. And here I got some PC gameplay for you guys. As I speak, it is 1.30 and I really want to get back to playing the game, but I want to start to render a video for you guys to upload. Probably get it up by 2 o'clock or something like that, so you guys will see it if you are up. So let me first talk about, I'm definitely going to talk about my first impressions of Team Deathmatch and the multiplayer in general, because I'm blown away guys. This game is awesome. It's honestly more than I expected I didn't think the game was gonna be this good I knew it was gonna be good it's even better than I thought which makes me very happy in the end that I bought this game for PC and console so I got a ton of ton of hours and a ton of you know fun time basically with my friends to play this game but first off let me talk about my midnight release experience um, definitely had a good crowd I would say maybe at the most 150 and that's probably pushing it. That was a pretty good amount of crowd, you know, at a local GameStop. It wasn't huge, but it was, uh, you know, definitely going to be a hassle. I know Call of Duty is going to be a way bigger release just because, you know, Call of Duty is way more mainstream than Battlefield is. But this game, you guys can see, looks amazing. I don't know if it was just me, but it looks way better than the beta, which I'm super surprised about. Um, even though I knew that, you know, they were like, oh, the beta is not the full retail representation but I'm like how's the beta not gonna look as good but I guess you know there's more textures and more basically details that they put into the video options that makes it amazing and for you console guys you guys are gonna have the ability to install like a gig and a half of a uh, high definition texture pack so that's cool for you guys because you guys can actually get to you know experience the game at maybe a little bit higher uh, you know textures and resolution than uh, you would before, I guess it would be standard def before that. But on PC, you know, there's this is ultra settings, um, playing on a GTX 570, getting a good solid 60 frames. Um, I didn't really pay attention to it that much because I was more about, you know, shooting people. But I'm getting really good frames, and that's really, really good. Like, everybody's like stress testing the game. All oh, my computer going to be able to play it. If your game can run like Bad Company 2 and stuff like that and look great, it's going to look great in this game too. This game is uh, awesome. Frostbite 2 is great, great engine, but I kind of went off about that. Um, midnight opening, it was funny because we're just standing in line, you know, just waiting for the game, waiting for everything to start moving at 12 o'clock. We got there about half an hour early and it was still, you know, 150 people. We probably got, you know, a quarter way in there. So a lot of people showed up late, which uh, that's their fault. Show up early if you want to get the game. But we got the game within 10 minutes, but the funny little story that I got to go along with it, get knifed, son, um, is that these guys from, you know, some local paintball facility where they wanted to promote their paintball, uh, you know, I guess, you know, arena, wherever there is, they play, and they were handing out raffle tickets, and, uh, you know, everybody, when somebody goes up to you and like, oh, you want a free raffle ticket? Usually you're going to turn them down, and I was like, what the hell, let's take it. So the group of three people we were with got tickets. I got number 89, and the prize was, doesn't sound like much, but I guess it relates to if you played paintball. I got a bag of 500 paintballs, so I actually won. They picked, they were going to hand out three 500, uh, you know, uh, paintballs, and I got one of them. So that was kind of cool, a little extra cool story, bro to go along with my midnight release nothing super special but then uh, that was pretty cool cuz I don't know what it is like I kind of not that I think I have some huge luck but I just thought I was gonna win because I don't know it puts me on the spot you get a feeling it happened and guess what I had the right ticket and I won but honestly uh, it's kind of funny because the kid in front of me I was like oh god now I gotta carry this bag of balls around the whole time you know I'm in the line and the guy in front of me is like, oh, you want to trade it? I got a hat. And I was like, the hat looked kind of whack. And it was just like some bright-ass orange. I was like, oh, I'm good, man. I'll hold on to my big uh, sack of balls, I guess. But <laughs> a little cool story there. But let me talk about Battlefield 3 especially because that's why you guys are here. So Team Deathmatch is super, super fast-paced. It is. They did a great job of, you know, portioning off the map to where Team Deathmatch is not a camp fest obviously there are really really good lines of sight and there are very powerful uh, weapons in this game you die quick and if you got somebody in a good spot it's going to be very agitating like you can see right there there used to be a wall right there that had huge cover 
but one of a one of the guys on my team actually, you know, shot his rocket propelled grenade there and took it out. So now it's just a big ass hole and it's an entrance for us to get in here now. Which basically I could kind of uh here's some horrible spraying on my part. I could kind of predict the spawns. It wasn't very hard because I saw like three or four guys spawn and I could really tell that that spawn isn't going to turn unless we push it. What it really felt like was once we cleared an area, kind of like a real uh, type of mission would be, you clear an area, check all the, you know, your corners and stuff, the spawn would flip and move to basically the other side of the map, which makes sense because it wouldn't be fair to us to be, you know, to give the enemy team a great spawn right behind us in a whole group of people, and one thing I was very confused about actually playing Team Deathmatch, I cannot spot people. I didn't, I, I guess there is a mechanic, I don't know if I don't have my key bindings right, my Q key should be binded to uh, spotting. I played other game modes, I was spotting people with Q. You can't spot in Team Deathmatch, which I find kind of odd, but I guess in the beta I didn't really see that uh, bullets when you shot you didn't show up on the minimap but in this one it's a lot friendly to newcomers because you know it's easy to find enemies and track enemies because they show up on the radar and then this is where silencers are going to come into a big play because silencers should give you the ability to stay off the radar staying off the radar means you're going to be stealthy and the customization in this game you don't sacrifice much to put on a silencer like uh, we were playing the beta and you know like people were running red dots like why wouldn't I run a red dot you don't sacrifice anything so basically silencers might become I actually just caught that guy at the perfect timing I was like let me check the ladder yep there's a guy coming up the ladder um this was an amazing spot because I'm basically sitting on top of their spawn anytime that I see you know triangle shooting I could you know move my position take them out and they're never gonna know when I'm gonna pop my head off this rooftop so this guy's actually coming up, he's trying to, you know, pick us off. This is a huge, huge line of sight, which I guess prone camping snipers are, um... Here's actually a really cool move I did. Jumped all the way down, probably uh, made a little bit more epic, but I get caught reloading. If I didn't reload, I definitely could have shot that guy. I had my eyes locked on him, but, you know, reload animation wasn't uh, quite finished yet. But you guys can see, man, the game is definitely a lot of fun. Um, learning as I go, I really, really want to get more hands-on time with it and see if they changed anything. And I can already, I really love this, the default M16. So don't be surprised, even when I level up, if I go back to this weapon. I consider this weapon kind of like that go-to weapon you always go to, whether it be, you know... Whatever gun Call of Duty you go to, FAMAS you go to, M16 you go to, whatever it may be, this seems like that type of gun I'm going to go to. And the one annoying thing I was kind of displeased about was, look how big that stupid chat is, but here I get the last kill by some oblivious guy right there, do a little spin to celebrate. Um, I believe I went 20, let's see actually, 20 and 4, so not bad guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, I'll bring you guys a lot of Battlefield 3 very soon, but uh... Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for staying up. Peace.